days after a local school district removed 33 books from a school library, parents speak out in support and in opposition of the book ban. Jason Calvi live in Menominee Falls with the heated meeting that just wrapped up a short time ago. Jason? Hey, Ted, yeah, it was a jam-packed room, standing room only. For one and a half hours, people spoke for and against removing these books. The topic of books wasn't even on the agenda, the official agenda for the school board, but people used that public comment period to share. If you want these books, go to the public libraries or buy them on Amazon. Battling over books. It is not the responsibility of the school board to impose your moral values. As the Menominee Falls School Board meets, last week the district removed 33 books from the high school library. We are asked to grow and thrive, yet our school board decides that it is above our right to choose what we read. We are given presentations asking the students to say no to drugs, while the school board does not even trust us to choose the books available to us. It wasn't that long ago I was in high school. I agree these books in the library are inappropriate. Ironically, I will be censoring some words as this is not the appropriate setting to be reading these explicit words aloud. These are just a few of the titles. Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five, Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye, Gregory Maguire's Wicked, Ellen Hopkins' Identical, and Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. The district said the 33 books broke district guidelines on profanity and or sexually explicit content. If you aren't allowed to buy it from an adult bookstore, you shouldn't be able to check it out of the school library. When a list of banned books has a clearly discriminatory focus, it's going to invite challenges from parents to the non-discrimination clauses of local, state, and federal law. The Menominee Falls School District's current policy allows a parent or someone living here to make a complaint about a book. That's supposed to trigger several levels of review but there's questions about what process was used for these 33 books. And I asked every single member of the board for an interview. None of them got back to me. So we still have many questions tonight on exactly why they removed these 33 books and what was the process to remove them. The battle over books really is raging across the entire country, across the state, and right here in Menominee Falls. That's where we're live tonight. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. But at the end of the day, this was basically a venting session because no action is going to be taken. The decision's been made, or can they reverse it still? Well, that's the whole question right now, Ted, is exactly what was the process to remove these books? There was no public meetings. There was no notices that they were having uh, meetings in the past to talk about these 33 books. So that's really the question moving forward. Who made the decision? It came from the district. The district put out that no notice last week that they were removing these books, but still lots of questions tonight in Menominee Falls about exactly what happened that process to remove these 33 books. And we'll keep asking them. Jason Calvey, thanks.